let's back up a little bit and talk about how Templator deals with animated layers. Okay, so I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to call this animation. And I'm going to hit OK and create a new text layer. Animate me. So let's go ahead and animate this guy. I'm just going to bring up the position parameter, kind of uh, move it around a little bit. You know, just really basic uh, animation, nothing fancy at all. This is just an example. So imagine we have this text layer that's, uh, you know, that we, we've got animated and we want <clears throat> to set up some rules for it. So we're going to go ahead and apply the template or settings effect to that layer. And for the rules, we're going to go ahead and, you know, uh, do an alignment to the left. So the first question that you might be asking is, well, what does Templator do with all these keys that are here when it does an alignment rule? So if I go instead of previews as next row, I'm going to do current state so I don't have to worry about the data mapping. I'm going to go ahead and hit preview. And what you're going to see here is that all of the keys, all the positional keys get translated together with that first key. So now when I view it, it's actually the first key gets aligned to the left and then all the other keys translate by the same amount. Okay, so that's if you have animation on your position layer. Now, if we have scale animation, so let's bring up the scale parameter, key that, and for here, I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to leave this at 100%, but the next key, what I'm going to go ahead and do is bring this up to... 200% and for the next key I'm going to bring this to 150 and then the next key I'll do this 250. So we've got 250, 150, 200 and then 100. Okay so for the scale factor of this layer I'm going to set this to 50%. So what Templator does when you've got a, an animated scale parameter is it looks at the scale factor and it only adjusts the scale values for the first key in this series of keys right here for the scale. So now when I hit preview, you're going to see that the scale actually did get adjusted so that the first key, the layer is now 50% of the composition, but the next keys don't actually get touched at all. Okay. So in that way, it's going to allow you to have scale animation, but not affect every single scale value along your entire sequence of keys.